Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Cornelius, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, your character is one of the newer doctors at Memorial on the series. Do you feel like they kind of gave him a different perspective on the situation, or does caring for patients matter regardless of the situation for him? Um, I mean, being new anywhere, I think, definitely changes one's perspective because, you know, you're new. You, you don't know. You're trying to get acclimated. Uh, and so there's a sense of, in particular, to being new at Memorial of just, it's a hospital. There's so many different layers and so many different, um, you know, politics inside a hospital that one has to kind of, to know, to even kind of navigate. And I think that um, makes my character's journey really unique in that he's navigating everything else that's going on, you know, the hurricane, but also just being in a new environment with new people. Absolutely. Now, I feel like in the early episodes, we see a lot of frustration coming from Dr. King. What do you feel like it was that frustrated him the most? And did you feel that frustration as you were going as well for him? What frustrated him the most? Um, I think, I think when you are in a new place and you kind of get a sense of, of just, of just, of just what's going on and maybe some of the perspectives that people have and how that affects policy and how that affects how we go about doing things. It's, 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 it's frustrating <laughs> because you, you know, you're, you're new and you can't really do anything about it. And so you, you kind of have to just observe and really find a way to, 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 I don't want to say fit in, but to find a way to to move through and navigate these things, even though you may not agree with what you're seeing uh, and you may not even understand it because you are new. There is that component, too. Kind of hard to find your groove when there's wind everywhere and water rising and all that stuff. So that's that a little difficult. bit. I mean, that's yeah. that's real. No doubt about that. One of the interesting things about this series, I think, Cornelius, is the interview portion as well that kind of talks about the aftermath. How important are those scenes to the overall story, would you say? Uh, I think I think they're very important because we get we get more of the story. We don't get actually just what happened, but we 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 get a sliver of of what happened afterwards and, and where people have moved on and how people have not moved on, where people are at after that significant kind of event, I think is important to really just give you a full picture and a full context of of, of what happened and and moreover, like the effects that it takes on people. I think we're, we're not only interested in what people go through, but we're also we're even more interested in how it affects them and we wanna see that really in every story that that we that we look at. Absolutely. Cornelius, before I let you go, what was it like working with John Ridley and Carlton Cuse on this series? And how do you feel like they helped bring authenticity to the story? Uh, just watch the story and you'll see um, the authenticity there, I believe. But both, I mean, they're both legendary in their own right. Um, it was great. It was great. I was really curious on set and they were very gracious to allow me to really um, to come and go as I pleased. I, I shadowed Carlton, I shadowed John on set um, while they were directing and they were really open and gracious to just let me pick their brains and just watch, just watch them go to work. It's, it's a really beautiful thing. And, you know, the, the crew there and how everybody kind of came together and, and did that and just their communication with them. I mean, this, this, this production had pros across the board and I was just really lucky to be a part of it. You'll see that authenticity he's talking about on August the 12th. That's when Five Days at Memorial premieres on Apple TV+. Plus. You get the first three episodes. And wait till you see what this guy's bringing to the table because it's good stuff. Cornelius Smith Jr., Jr., thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Take care.